A common question I get is what is the difference between carpal tunnel syndrome or cubital tunnel syndrome? Carpal tunnel syndrome is impingement or compression of the median nerve in the carpal tunnel of the wrist. Cubital tunnel syndrome is compression or pressure or irritation or traction of the ulnar nerve at the elbow. The symptoms of these two conditions are in different locations. When we speak of carpal tunnel syndrome, again, this is compression on the median nerve at the wrist. The symptoms are going to be in the thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, and this side of the ring finger. So the side of the ring finger that is closer to the middle finger. While the symptoms of the cubital tunnel syndrome, which is compression or traction or irritation of the ulnar nerve, are going to be in the pinky and the side of the ring finger next to the pinky. Now these symptoms may feel the same. It is something called paresthesia, which is numbness, tingling, or burning. There can also be weakness, and if it is long-standing, there can be atrophy of the muscles that these nerves innervate. When people speak of cubital tunnel syndrome, they often say that they hit their funny bone, but this is not a bone. You are hitting the nerve because it is exposed very superficially to the skin. So you can hit this and you will feel the symptoms all the way along the course of the nerve. Again, it can be numbness, tingling, or burning type of pain. Carpal tunnel syndrome is the most common nerve entrapment in the body. It is compression and traction of the median nerve in the carpal tunnel of the wrist. It is mainly due to repetitive wrist and hand motions, but can be due to a trauma. Symptoms include numbness, tingling, burning, and weakness. And there can also be atrophy of the muscles if the condition is long standing. This is most common in athletes who participate in cycling, wrestling, football, mountain bikers, weightlifters, and wheelchair athletes. Cubital tunnel syndrome is also known as ulnar neuropathy at the elbow. It is the second most common upper extremity entrapment, second only to carpal tunnel syndrome. It involves compression of the ulnar nerve in the cubital tunnel of the elbow. There is often a contributory component from the nerve being tractioned or stretched. The ulnar nerve can be compressed at multiple points along its course, but the most common location is at the elbow. Cubital tunnel syndrome is characterized by symptoms of numbness, tingling, burning, and weakness in the fifth finger and in the medial half of the fourth finger. This injury is common in athletes who participate in baseball, bodybuilding, football, wrestling, cycling, and mountain biking. Carpal tunnel syndrome is impingement of the median nerve, and this occurs in the carpal tunnel at the wrist. Cubital tunnel syndrome is compression or pressure with many times a traction component of the ulnar nerve at the elbow. These are two separate nerves and their nerve distribution is in different areas of the hand. So when we think of carpal tunnel syndrome, the symptoms are in the thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, and the side of the ring finger close to the middle finger. And then when we think of cubital tunnel syndrome, the symptoms are in the pinky and the side of the ring finger next to the pinky. The symptoms can be the same, but they are in a different location. So therefore, the difference between carpal tunnel syndrome and cubital tunnel syndrome are the nerves that are being compressed and the location of the symptoms. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Please like, comment, and subscribe.